Hi friends, uh, Colby Sharp here, fifth grade teacher in Michigan. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. If you are brand new to this place, uh, I'm a fifth grade teacher in Michigan. I love talking about books. I love talking about how I get kids excited about reading. If you're brand new, hit that subscribe button down below. If you click that bell notification, you get an email with the video link every time I post something new. Today we're gonna be talking about an amazing, amazing, amazing picture book that is so much fun to read aloud. Are you ready? I love reading aloud picture books to my students and it brings me a tremendous amount of joy. I love it with all my heart. It is so much fun. And one thing that I love so much is when we find an author that the kids just can't wait to hear their next book. And I think one of the great read aloud authors if today in today's world, one of the next legendary authors that kids are going to be reading for decades to come is Ryan T. Higgins. He's an author illustrator out of Maine and he crushes it. His books are beautiful. They're breathtaking. I love reading them at home by myself. I love reading them with my own children. Uh, but there's something extra special and extra magical about reading his books to kids. Whether it is his Bruce books, a couple of Bruce books. I don't even have Mother Bruce. I lost it or it's somewhere hidden or a kid borrowed it and never returned it. Be quiet, which is so much fun. And last week on the 11th day of school, I read my kids, we don't eat our classmates and they loved it. They thought it was the funniest thing. They just cracked up, laughed, 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 laughed. And then today they were so surprised on day 12, we read, we will rock our classmates. And Penelope is back. She is just an unforgettable, hilarious, funny character. She's a dinosaur in a classroom filled with children, human children. And in book one, you may remember if you read this, she gets in trouble for eating her classmates. Well, she's back. She's not quite eating her classmates anymore. William Amato, who's back in this book, doesn't get eaten like he did before. Does have a little bit of where his backpack stuck between her teeth. She needs to floss better, but feel like she's gotten over that. Talent show is coming. Penelope wants to rock her classmates, like rock and roll. So she signs up, but then it's rehearsal time and she totally gets cold feet. She can't do it. She's too overwhelmed, too nervous. She just can't do it. She can't rock her classmates. She doesn't even know if it's possible for a dinosaur to rock their classmates. And I just, I just feel like, number one, the kids are going to laugh. If the kids have read this book, they're going to see so many things in, in this book that carry over to this book. So if this book is new to you or new to your students, make sure you reread them this if you haven't read this already. Um, but it's gonna help kids just see the power of not giving up, for trying something that makes you nervous, for finding a way to help others when they're nervous. You know, things that kids feel all the time. Uh, as a fifth grade teacher, even kicking off the school year, my students are nervous talking in front of each other. And to see Penelope try to overcome her fears and find strategies to do something that she didn't think was possible, just made my heart so happy. I love this book. I highly recommend this book. If you were looking for a great book to read aloud to your kids, We Will Rock Our Classmates is that book. Get all the Ryan T. Higgins books. You, I promise you won't regret it. They will blow your mind reading them aloud. Get into it. Rock your students like Penelope's trying to rock her classmates. My name is Colby Sharp. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for subscribing. Have an awesome-tastic day. Happy, happy reading.